Good morrow, Kate, for that thou name I hear. Well, have you heard, or are you hard of hearing? They call me Katerina, those who talk of me. You lie in faith, for you were called plain Kate, and bonny Kate, and sometimes Kate the cursed. But Kate, the prettiest Kate in the Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate, for dainties are all Kates, and therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation, hearing the mildness praised in every town, thy virtues spoke, of thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as thee belongs, myself and moved to woo. Moved? In good time, let him that moved you hither, remove you hence, and knew at the first you remove Why? What is a movable? A jointed stool. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on thee. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Well, women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me you mean. At last, good Kate, I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my height should be. Should be, should buzz. As much as a buzzard. Oh, slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? I for a turtle as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp, I faith you are too angry. If I am waspish, then you must feel my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. I, if the fool could find where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail, of course. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tales, and so farewell. Tongue in your tail? Nay, come again. Oh, good Kate, I am a gentleman. That I'll try. I'll cuff thee if you try and hit again. So may you lose your arms if you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, then why no arms? A herald, Kate? Oh, pull me in thy books. What is your crest? A cock's comb? A combless cock, so Kate will be my hen. <laughs> no cock of mine. You crow too like a craven. Nay. Come, Kate, come. Why must be so sour? It is my fashion when I see a crab. Why? Here's no crab. Therefore look not so sour. There is, there is. Then show it me. Had I a glass, I would. What you mean? My face? <laughs> well aimed of such a young one. Now by St. George, I am too young for you. <laughs> Yet you are withered. Tis with cares. I care not. Nay, hear you, Kate, and soothe you, skate not so. <sighs> I chafe you if you tarry, let me go. I find you passing gentle. Twas told me you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I find a report a very liar. For thou art pleasant, passing courteous, but slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. Nor hast thou pleasure to be crossed in talk, but thou with mildness entertains thy wooers with gentle conference, soft and affable. Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? O oh, slanderous world, O oh, let me see thee walk, thou dost not halt. Where did you study all this goodly speech? It is extempore from my mother wit. Oh, a witty mother, witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes. Keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Katerina, in thy bed, and therefore setting all this chat aside thus in plain terms, your father hath consented, that you will shall be my wife, your dowry greed on, and will you, nil you, I will marry you. Now, Kate, I am a husband, for your turn, for by this light, whereby I see thy beauty, thy beauty that doth make me thee well, thou must be married to no man but me. For I am he, I am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from the wild, Kate, to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. Here comes your father, never make denial. I must and will have Katerina to my wife. Why are you still here? 
Well, good morning to you too, Sweet Cheeks. Don't call me Sweet Cheeks ever again. <sighs> Blossom, pumpkin pie, honey. Oh, gosh. You just drive me towards wanting to marry you because you're so goddamn sweet. Driven? Here's something about driven. Get the Mercedes that drove you here to drive you back. Well, to be honest, I'm quite fond of my new car, so I guess I'll do you a favor sooner or later and leave. But before I do, can you make me some coffee, honey? Honey is sweet. So is the honey from a bee. So I'm a bee now. Better watch out for my stinger. Um, I heard that. And if you can find my stinger, you can have it. Honey, we all know the stingers on the bee's tail. <laughs> my stinger will be in your bee's tail. If you don't stop with the nicknames, my name is Andy. And D. Oh, you're the most frustrating person ever. You know what? No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. All oh, right, all right. I'm a gentleman. All gentlemen listen to their ladies. <laughs> you? A gentleman? <sighs> okay, hit for hit. <laughs> you hit me? <laughs> and the wedding's off. All right, hon, let's not be so cocky. We all know the men are the leaders in the relationships here. <laughs> cocky? The way things are going, we may as well take the cock out of cocky. Oh, wait, did I just reference our relationship? Aw, oh, hon, don't be so sour. I'm only sour when there's a sour apple right in front of me. There is no sour apple here. Oh, go look in the mirror. So wait, you're calling me a sour apple? Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! You're not a complete idiot! Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this. Like, I'm so over it. I'm okay. over it. Look, buddy, it's just gonna get worse from here, so you may as well get out now. To be honest. Just saying. To be honest? You know, I thought you were the one. Oh, I just loved your long, blonde, silky hair and your bright blue eyes. I mean, you're not aggressive at all. Like, that hit on my face was like a love tap. I love it. The aggressiveness. You're just a sweetheart. You know, the melody in your voice when you're yelling at me is just probably my favorite thing about you. I, you know, I, I can't even just get over how amazing you are. So take a step back and show me what you're really made of. Tell orders to the maid and not to me. Oh, oh wait. We don't have a maid. You can hardly afford to pay rent on this place. Wow, good job for you. You're, you're, you're really witty, really witty. Prostitute. Oh, yeah. oh Ben, stop being so nice. How do you think of all these nice lines? Oh, you know, it just kind of comes to me. Got it from my mom. A witty mother. Too bad about the sun. Mm. You know I'm witty. Don't even deny it. Enough to keep you warm at night. Oh, stop teasing me. Of course I'll be warm tonight. Snuggled up beside you in our nice, cozy queen bed. But let's cut to the chase. I'm sick of this little act you have going on. Obviously, I have one too. I love you and you love me. We both know it. We're getting married in five days, so we either drop the act and move on with our lives, or we can keep going on and live miserable lives together. So. Let's just get this over with because I love you and we are meant to be married. So how are my favorite newlyweds? What? <laughs> you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're really good now. I mean, why you got a new job? We're doing, we're doing better. We're doing a lot better and he just, he just gets me. And I personally think, you know, I, I personally think I, I tamed the shrew. If, if you know what I mean, right? You no, me. yeah, babe, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Three! Just say it right now. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>
What, with my tongue in your tail? Nay, come again. Good Kate, I am a gentleman. That I'll try. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> okay, okay. I press it every time. Okay. Hello. I never saw you press it. Hey, <laughs> back up. Stop, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs>